Hi, my name is Kristen Lee Wong and I'm a painter and illustrator in Los Angeles, California. I'm preparing work for my upcoming solo at Corey Helford Gallery called Hard Press. So tell us about this painting that you're making. For this piece, I was really inspired by uh, the 1971 film The Wicker Man. And also I was I was also inspired by like the current current situation of things and I also read um, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood finally so I kind of had all those things going in my mind and I came up with the um, the idea of burning a giant wicker woman figure. Can you show us the sort of outline of the wicker? The yeah. Wicker um, How it sort of goes together. So I work by using uh, tracing paper for the drawing because I don't like a messy surface. So this is what's going to be on top of um, everything in that figure and then it'll be burning so I still got to paint the fire obviously once I transfer everything. And yeah this is this is my biggest piece that I've ever painted that's been this detailed since I since I graduated from college so it's it's been quite the uh, quite the undertaking. So sort of tell us about the name of the show, the other works, and how this one ties in. So the show is called Hard Press, and it's about like the, both the internal and external pressures that, that I feel like I've been facing, but also like we as a general like society, I feel like there's been a lot of like stress and anxiety and just like crazy things happening around us, both like personally and like socially and like, so I feel like all of that's been in the background while I've been trying to create a body of work and it's like sometimes it can feel like overwhelming. I just feel like the past few years have been really overwhelming for a lot of people and uh, this this show is kind of a reflection on, on those various forces and yeah, there's like, I feel like there's an undercurrent of like anxiety or pressure throughout all of, all of the pieces that I've been trying to capture and just like pressures of being like a woman in modern day life and just trying to be a person or trying to be like a good artist or a good person, a good partner, like a good friend, like a good human being socially. Like I feel like there, it, there's just like a lot of things that everyone always has going on and, and it can kind of overtake you sometimes. Do you have some of the other works that you made for the show here? Yeah, yeah, actually I do. This is a piece I made, it's like my interpretation of a Sisyphus, you know, the, Ooh, the eternal struggle. So cool. <laughs> and that's a little, little internal pressures, like, I feel like pressures can also be like, um, can be defined as like, um, desires or impulses too, so like, like I kind of like, like we have like these like, I feel like internal like, things that drive us forward that we can't always necessarily resist or that we don't want to resist. So the show, show kind of like looks at that too. This is kind of like a piece about a girl wrestling with herself, consuming herself. This is a piece about um, multitasking. I guess I can I'll take this off. Yeah, this one's, this one's a little playful. So this is so the modern day woman trying to keep it all together, maybe with a friend's help, but <laughs> yeah. The colors in this one are fantastic. Thanks. The robe is so good. Thanks, it's thanks. Sort of like in neons. Yeah, yeah. I wanted it to like and I really wanted to play around with um using different palettes for this show. I feel like like when I was first starting out, like a lot of my work people would describe it as like candy colored or pastel, which is great. Like I, I love those colors, obviously I use them, but you never want to be like fit into a box. So I've really been trying to like push myself to do different way, use color in different ways where it's still bright and vibrant, but not necessarily the brightness that I was achieving before. <laughs> Yeah, like like dark, I've been really into like, we call them dark brights, where it's like, it's a dark image, but but it's still like vibrant. <laughs> this one's like about like, yeah, it's about a balancing act, kind of like, just trying to keep it all together, like keep your house together, keep your upkeep together, take care of people or things, like work, like 
trying to breed and stay cultured and like I don't know just like every everything stupid piling up and like barely being able to hold it together but being a little burnt out 